Hello everyone, in uh, this short video we will invoke the REST web service. As you probably know, the REST services uh, are different from the SOAP services in two main aspects. First of all, they don't track the state of the connection, they are not required to follow the contract, and they receive the data parameters directly via the URL. Second thing, uh, they are not always returned as the XML, but they can return other structures, like JSON for example. In the following example, we will invoke uh, one web service which uh, receives customer name and practically return uh, private claims of the customer. Uh, for our example, I will use this web service. As you can see, it is uh, uh, the invocation of the web service consists of the web service itself, which is uh, uh, deployed to some server, and uh, the parameter which it receives, it receives my name, cola. And uh, you can see that this service practically returns us some generated JSON with the previous claims of the customer. This web service we will invoke via our solution. In our project, we will go ahead to the business entity and we, uh, entities and we will create new business entities. There will be a customer name. There will be a URL of the web service. And of course, there will be a response from the service. Uh, certainly, we will need to, to create the uh, library type which is inside of the communication folder, there is a HTTP request. I will create an instance of that HTTP request. And I will create additional type which will hold uh, my functionality to invoke this service. So I will call this type REST. And it will have practically only one function, which will be named uh, getClaims. and I will create an instance of this REST. My function getClaims practically will receive one only parameter, which will be the name. And uh, my function uh, will uh, assign into HTTP request URL, uh, the URL which I have for my service. So I will take, I will concatenate practically will go to the text, concatenate, and I will concatenate my URL together with parameters name. So this will be the URL which my service will uh, connect to. I will need additional assignment for uh, my HTTP request is the method which the request will use. So I will assign to request method to be get. Of course, it can be uh, not only get, but also post or any other method. The last thing which remained to me is uh, actually to invoke the request to the desired URL. So I will use function invocation. I will invoke function of my HTTP request. I will use function of post request to not do it asynchronously, to actually wait for the results. And when the results will be received, I will assign into uh, my response, the response of this web service. So I will go to HTTP request and you can see here HTT uh, the XML response practically is just the response. Even the JSON response will be also here, it's just text. Now, this function I'm ready to use from the event handler. Before we will use this function, I want to uh, do the last thing. I want to provide initial value for the URL of my service. So I will provide initial value and I will paste the same URL I used in my browser to check the service. I will just remove the parameter which will be added during the function invocation. Now I'm ready to go ahead to my business logic to create the event handler. Each time when the name changes, 
and the event of course is certainly the value of customer name was modified i will invoke the function which i prepared it's inside of the rest get claims and this function expects for the name so i will provide the customer name and now we are ready to launch and test our solution so let's go ahead and let's run our main project and let's bring our monitor up in my monitor i will update the customer name to be cola and when we hit enter Practically, I get the response here from the web service. And if I will enlarge this window a little bit, you will see that practically this response is uh, actually just text. This text is JSON and you may parse this JSON and you can extract the necessary data from this JSON. This is how you invoke the REST web service.